Hey Lachlan. What? What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? I don't know. Call it. Why? If you get it right, I'll give you six pounds. If you don't, you owe me five. Deal? No. What if I gave you seven? Still no. What if I gave you ten? Yeah, alright. So why didn't Lachlan agree to my initial bet? He had equal chances of winning six pounds and losing five pounds. That's a positive expected value. The rational thing to do is to go for the bet. But Lachlan isn't rational. He's emotionally volatile and not always selfish, like most people. For years, economists and psychologists have studied people, but they've never quite agreed on what people are. Are they rational or irrational? According to Daniel Kahneman, people actually make decisions based on the psychological value of losses and gains. Now, getting back to Lachlan, it turns out that the pain of a loss is about twice as powerful as the pleasure of a gain. And this is why he only agreed to my bet when I doubled the offer. This is called risk aversion. Here's another example. Hey, you going to the game today? <laughs> that means f***ing 100 quid, man. That's a scam. Ooh. Oh, you jammy bastard. Let's f***ing go. I'll buy it off you for 100 pounds. No. To an economist, this makes no sense at all. Lachlan first said he values the 100 pounds more than the ticket to the game. But as soon as he has the ticket, he values the ticket more. So things become more valuable as soon as we own them. This is called the endowment effect. Different fields of study have different ways of looking at the world. And interesting things happen at the boundaries between disciplines. So whatever you do, whatever your field of study, try to talk to someone outside of it. Who knows? You might make a breakthrough.